Hey there guys, it's Shaq from Shaq here and welcome to a brand new video and in today's video I'm from a little bit of request from my subscribers and viewers from my previous videos wondering how can they make a bit more interactive, bring another layer of interaction to their streams by allowing uh, people to join the stream via video um, or audio etc. Uh, this is a really cool way that could be used when doing uh, maybe uh, DJing, or, uh, doing a maybe a virtual concert, seeing people's reactions, creating a nice little party lobby in the um, background, or even having a live podcast of some sort or a radio station. This might be a really easy way to in in incorporate this. Now, there's numerous ways to do this, but some really complex ways, some really simple ways. I'm going to try to do it really simply here. Um, one of the complex ways is you could use something called the NDI. Um, you could use something called an NDI. Now, NDI is. Uh, allows you to take uh, video outputs and uh, feed them into your network and be picked up as video sources so you can stream to another com separate computer um, instead of the one that you're actually recording on um, this can be quite useful for those kind of things but for this kind of use case if you have just one computer and with people joining your stream via video this may be a really simple way to do it so first of all as you can see I start up a brand new scene here and I have a video capture device which is my webcam that I'm currently streaming on so this can be whatever your main camera your activity whatever you want to be streaming out to there I've added a color source just as a background uh, blue color you can put whatever you want some images put some overlays some really cool sick stuff and whatnot now for us to get some interaction to a video there's numerous ways you could do this you could do it through Skype you could use zoom you could do different tools um, so long as you're able to um, give out a link of some sort so people anyone can join via a link to this video call and they'll be able to appear in the stream so one of the really simple ones that I personally would like like using is Google Hangouts so what we're gonna do is we'll navigate to Google Hangouts see this is just me and Google Hangouts start a new video call awesome uh, what you want to do is you can do copy link to share Share that link with anyone you want. You can have your OBS camera working, still going live. Uh, that. Uh, what I do like, like to do is I like to mute my mic uh, as well. It's cool. So invite people. So get that link. So what you want to do with this link is maybe put it below your broadcast or send it to particular people you want on the stream. But if you want anyone else, just put it below your broadcast link. Tell people to follow this link, click this link, and they'll be able to join this hangout. So I'm just going to join this hangout call via my other computer. Oh, hey, so, so look, there, that's, that's me. me. And of course, and of course people can, can join, join through, through mobile, mobile and and, uh, uh, and hang because usually on an Android phone, Hangouts is installed by default, so people can easily join via this. Now, what you want to do is make it a size you want small enough there, put it there, and then you want to go back to your OBS settings. So you want to go click this plus button in the sources window. You want to create, you want to do a new window capture, create new, okay, and then what you want to do is make sure you're selecting this window here um, by clicking the window type, Hangout Videos Call, Google Chrome, select that window, click OK, drag it to where you want to place in the scene. Now of course you don't want all this unnecessary stuff at the bottom and the top. So what you want to do is hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag one of these uh, transform points on the video and you're able to crop easily so you don't want those video controls as well boom you've got yourself a nice little uh, video capture area here so this is where people can join the stream they'll keep coming popping on and off and the cool thing about hangouts and also a lot of a lot of the other um, platforms can do is it can be only the person talking or the active speaker so it'll keep changing between the person that is active so it's really cool as it can switch to the person that's active so let me just get it on my mobile awesome so now this is on my phone i've been able to join my phone then if i unmute my laptop and i yeah, say hey, hey what's, what's up, up it, changes it changes to, to my, my laptop. laptop mute that and then if i go back into my phone and i unmute right, that it changes okay, back to that, that. so it's whoever's, whoever's the active user at that point in time so let me just disconnect the calls and bring that back uh, just so that 
And so I hope that really uh, that helped uh, you understand how you could do that kind of interactive video style kind of thing. This can be really useful to, again, as I said, those various events. Create a little lobby as well in the background. A lot of people in this wonderful call vibing out some music and whatnot. And uh, yeah, enjoying the content that you guys are creating. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe out there. Um, please uh, leave questions, any more questions down below. I'll try to address them. Uh, any new video ideas you guys are looking forward to learn. As always though, I bought one and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.